updating on the project. It's been a little while since I made a YouTube video. Definitely a little overdue. In the last video, we saw Jim talking through this garbage bag character. I think I even showed Frazier Hooper, a uh, performer, come in and do some performance for that character. Since then, I've got two new research assistants working with me, one from computer science, one from design. Uh, and they started just a couple of weeks ago. We started doing a every Wednesday kind of thing. So they're only working with me one day a week. It's Wednesdays, uh, which is going to be tomorrow. Today's Tuesday. And we will be recording each week and working through all the issues in the pipeline, basically. We're going to roll for the first half of the day, work on issues for the second half of the day, and see how that goes until we run out of Wednesdays. So we had one of these, the very first one of these, that was a full-on performance. We didn't ease into it, we just went right for it. These two, these two students uh, don't have experience with motion capture, didn't have experience with Unreal Engine, but we just went for it anyway. And it worked out okay. We learned a lot, that's for sure. We had some challenges that uh, ate up most of our time. One of the challenges was uh, Motion Builder wasn't cooperating, so that's normally run from this workstation. So this one here is streaming out body motions. We retarget with Motion Builder here in this computer uh, and use one of these two computers to receive that motion and make a visualization in Unreal Engine. Uh, this computer, for some reason, wasn't having its live link visible over here. Couldn't figure out why, so we, in the moment, moved everything, motion builder and retargeting and hand engine, all to one computer with Unreal Engine. And this caused some other issues. We saw some lag in the data streams uh, that was recorded in the take editor, making our take editor recordings not line up with the recorded audio, which means I need to reconstruct the motion. Well, it turns out I didn't have time code connected to hand engine. Uh, so reconstructing the hand engine to the body motion is uh, now manual and not very fast. For that session, we had two performers. I quickly threw together another character, not full mocap. It's just going to use live link face. So we set up performer here uh, with an iPad and they just moved, did head motion and flapping mouth and got basically a sock puppet approach which worked great. It gave Frazier somebody to perform with and act off of, and together they were pretty funny. It was actually, we had some real moments. Well, I didn't get to use these because of many complicating factors. For, for one, in Unreal Engine, I don't have all the data in a usable state. So then it became an issue with reassembly, and I didn't have all the pieces I needed for reassembly to go easily. But the bigger issue was the audio. So with two performers performing verbally, riffing off each other, the audio is very important, and I had set up some routing and recorded into Reaper, but I did not at the time have Reaper recording with timecode, so assembling that audio with our other data, super uh, manual, not straightforward. So I did spend a bit of time trying to assemble these motions together into a usable take that I could make a TikTok post out of, trying to find one of our choice moments in what we recorded. We were a little unstructured on the day, so finding a piece of the performance that I had all of the other pieces and could assemble into one thing was a little bit challenging. Uh, but I didn't really succeed. I've only got one take in Unreal Engine so far with the audio and the uh, body motions and the hands and the face, everything assembled. I haven't gone through the entire list, uh, but I did start at the end and work backwards and found issues with almost every single piece that means that I'd have to spend more time to reassemble our recorded motion because of these time code kind of related things. So an easier thing to do would be to just roll it again, which we're gonna try again tomorrow. And this will also you know, help us refine our pipeline, which is a key purpose of this whole thing. It's not really to make TikTok videos, it's really to understand and refine this workflow and this pipeline. E hello, it's shoot day, and I'm here with, uh, with the team. These are my two new uh, research helpers. At the far end, we have Anna, and at the near end, we have Clara. Uh, they've come to help me out here in the studio. I've got one from design, one from computer science, uh, and so far, it's been working out great. This is their third week. They're coming every Wednesday. We're in here every Wednesday shooting. We also have Oberon, who was one of our two performers today, uh, and we captured some stuff. Things started to work a little bit, 
and it was great. Yeah. Hey, you know, some people pick their noses. What? Yeah, I was born with mine. <laughs> Listen, you can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. All right. Uh, so this is Oberon and Frasier, who performed uh, on The Thing today. Frasier, did you have a, 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 a positive experience? This is the third time through for, for you on this. How did you feel about yeah, it Yeah, it's been good. I've really enjoyed the experience. Um, what I've learned is that to kind of move um, in different ways, you, um, you've got these natural rhythms that you come up with, and then you end up just sort of um, uh, staying in a small um, uh, frame of, of movement. So um, and being able to see it um, straight back, you say, oh, I, now I can move uh, in different ways and expand it or retract it. And it gives you um, um, more opportunities to play. Yeah. You did a great job today. Oberon, you got anything you want to add? I was going to say, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting seeing how this sort of space develops and um, how people start to use uh, the Unreal or, or this method sort of of motion capture in Unreal and to do all sorts of stuff. And it's exciting to be at the cusp of it, you know. Even though, you know, this is a sort of silly thing that we're doing, it, feels, it still feels exciting. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thank you so much for coming. You guys are great. Oh, thank thanks. you. It's been awesome. Yeah. So that's my end of my update. Uh, until next time, stay well.